New for Spoken Video Explains Magic Combat Abilities A new video explains the offensive and defensive capabilities behind For Spoken's color-based magic abilities. A new For Spoken video and PlayStation blog post detail the magical combat capabilities of Fry in the world of Athea. Frey's magical abilities are classified into four colors that offer a wide range of offensive and defensive options to defeat enemies. For Spoken is said to have super fast loading times. According to Luminous Productions technical director Tepe Ono, For Spoken's load times are said to be very fast on the PS5. It's so fast, in fact, that it will supposedly take barely one second to load on Sony's latest hardware. Square Enix is showing off more of what the world of Athea has to offer and what players can expect of the game's combat system in a new video and PlayStation blog post. Previous videos showed off for Spoken's open world and parkour and now, it's time to focus on its combat. Fry Holland's magic-based combat abilities are divided into four colors. Purple magic relies on ground elements, red magic releases waves of powerful fire attacks, and green and blue deal with air and water elemental magic respectively, but these were not thoroughly explained in the deep dive video. Each magic color has a wide range of unique attack, support, and parkour dodge spells that give the players a multitude of combat options for any situation. There will also be levels to each color's combat abilities for the players to unlock even more powerful spells. For Spoken's Purple Magic's ground-based basic shot offensive moves have three different forms. Burst shot forms into a small fusion of rocks and soil and fires like a cannonball into enemies, potentially doing splash damage to others around the target. Shield shot can be used in defense, then fired at nearby enemies. Scatter shot is a rapid-fire offensive move that can charge a more powerful single shot with successive hits. For defensive moves, Purple Magic has Prime, which sets mind traps, Screen, which creates a force field but offers no offensive capabilities like Shield Shot, and Tendril, which is a wide, slashing attack that can heal Fry with the percentage of damage it inflicts on enemies. For added protection, Fry's Cuff is also designed to mitigate some incoming damage and set her up for some counter-attacking spells. The cuff will also give Fry information for point of interests and enemy weaknesses. The other magic colors will follow this same convention with their own unique abilities and upgrades. As for spoken story progresses and Fry discovers new areas, she will find mana in the world that will go towards upgrading the other magic spell levels and eventually unlock the remaining magic colors. The PlayStation blog post written by Forspoken's lead visual effects artist Ryota Nozo explains why they made certain design decisions. As seen in many other Forspoken gameplay trailers, Frey's magic turns into physical matter, then returns to magic form at the end of the attack. Magic abilities are cast in geometric patterns, organized layers of squares and circles to help the look of this game's magic stand out from other iterations. For Spoken Gameplay For Spoken seeks to give the player the tools to explore an open world utilizing an expansive magic system and the ability to seamlessly leap around environments. Director Takashi Aramaki claims the game uses fluid movement, with Square Enix describing it as a narrative-driven adventure. For Spoken's most recent trailer offered a deeper look into what to expect from the story, but there are a few moments of gameplay worth analyzing. We see our protagonist, Fry Holland, running around an arena as a dragon swipes at her. She also traps a couple of flying monsters in a water orb, sets magically imbued explosive traps, summons a flame sword to whack foes, turns enemies to ice, fluidly leaps between the tops of buildings, conjures shifty platforms underneath her to elevate herself temporarily, and even pulls herself onto a tether to clear a gap. She can even launch magical projectiles from her palm like a machine gun. With Final Fantasy XV, Luminous Production took a dive into developing an open-world narrative-driven game. However, the team's engaging main missions were held back by a large yet empty world with repetitive side quests, 
This sense of scale was most hindered by the player being unable to explore the gigantic setting fluidly. The regalia, the game's iconic vehicle, was certainly unique, but it was more of a nice way to look at the environment rather than actually leave your car and run around in it. On the other hand, Forspoken could thrive with a world similar in size to the one in Final Fantasy XV. After what we've seen of Forspoken's fluid movement that has fried jumping off cliffs and between rocks, these environments can be justifiably huge without feeling daunting to explore. It might be important to emphasize a slight emptiness in the setting. If Forspoken is overwhelmed with cities, characters, and quests, players will have their parkour frequently interrupted by things to interact with. Climbing and sprinting at breakneck speeds makes exploration more satisfying, giving Luminous Productions the ability to keep its environments open with significant distance between landmarks to encourage the player to be on the move at all times. Forspoken received a new trailer at 2021's The Game Awards. We learned the game is scheduled to release on May 24. This trailer also showcased quite a few details about the world and story as it seems Fry has been outcast by the powers that rule the fantasy world. One of the highlights from this trailer features a dragon-like creature made of tree roots shooting a laser of blue fire at Fry. I can't wait to battle that thing. Forspoken releases on PC and PS5 on January 24, 2023.